This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. There is a video that's going viral and you just, it really hits you. Yeah, it's got 8 million views and it's a woman who is basically doing a story time, but it's just music. So she's writing out the story as she's filming herself making dinner. And she said, my husband didn't like what I cooked for dinner tonight. So instead I'm making him some nachos. And it's her just like putting the chips out, putting the meat on top, the cheese. And she's putting in a lot of work with these nachos. They look great. Yeah, I mean, a lot of work. Did you see the sauce that she poured on top before putting them in the oven? Yeah, I suppose. They look just so good. Nachos, it never screams a lot of work to me, but I'm maybe okay, but sounding elitist. Here, listen. Okay. She made him salmon first. And he didn't and want he it? Didn't, he didn't like it. So instead, she made nachos, and it's her just showing the process of it. And then she goes, I used to be irritated by this, so it sounds like he does this a lot. Which at the point, I'm also like, we'll figure out if he doesn't like something, why are you making it? You're you're married. Ask first, maybe, but also learn how to eat food. You're an adult. Exactly. So she said, I used to get irritated, but now I just blame his mother for never making him try salmon. This is where it's giving everyone the ick. (laughs) The camera turns around. She's handing him his nachos. He's laying on the couch with his blankie. And he looks... Like such a turd. I don't mean to judge. No, I do. I am judging this guy wholeheartedly. Mm. He seems like the worst husband. He looks lazy. He looks like he is not grateful at all. And he looks like he hasn't slept in three days because he's been playing Zelda. This feels like you're you're reaching a little bit for Ew, look how at long him. is how long is the clip of him? He looks like a five year old boy who's okay. been sick on the couch when mommy brings him his cereal. Like you know how kids they just assume that you're gonna feed them because you're their parent. Yeah. So they don't actually look at you lovingly or say, Wow, this looks amazing. Thank you. They just kinda glance at you to grab the plate, and then they go back to watching TV. Yeah. That's what this guy's doing in the video. Yeah, that's an ick adult thing for sure. And it's his blankie. I don't know. There's something about a grown man with a blankie that I'm just like, bleh. Yeah, you've brought that up a couple times yeah. over the last week or so. Like, <laughs> you're just really grossed out by dudes with blankets on them. But, like, <laughs> what happens when it's cold? Would you rather a dude that's all willy-nilly when it comes to turning on the heat in their house and they just crank the heat so they don't have to use a blanket? Like, to me, when I see somebody who's got a blanket on, I'm like, appreciate that. Economically savvy. Does that make sense? Yes, but this is just a new thing that I've... Just hate guys in blankets. Because I saw it the other day. Someone had a blankie on them, and I was like, the heck? I don't know what it is. Is It's so stupid. Okay, hold on. How about, like, somebody laying on the couch with a blanket (laughs) over top of them? Where are we at with that on a scale of 1 to 10 on how much you hate it? Laying on the couch with the blanket. Laying on the couch, it's okay. Okay, what about sitting cross-legged? Sitting up, (laughs) blankie, and it looks like the blanket that they've had since they were a kid and Mm. hasn't been washed. I don't know. There's something about it. I think the problem is there are a lot of uh, parents that baby their child, which is good, then baby their preteen, and then baby their teenager, uh, and then baby their young adult. And like... Well, and I've heard, now this is obviously not the case for everyone, but there are a lot of moms who, if they only have sons, and like that, they try to raise a son to be the man that they have always wanted. Mm. So then when they meet someone down the road, a partner, the mom can become protective Protective? or or very bitter because their son, that was supposed to be their dream. I know this sounds crazy. I know it sounds kind of weird. But I've heard psychologists talk about this before, mm-hmm. that they don't like the person that's taking their baby away from them because that's their... That's they kind of the, built them how they want They to. built that. Yeah. And now it's being pulled away from them and then they start to become mean to the partner. So if you're listening now and you maybe have a monster-in-law or something, maybe that's why. Is because this, they babied their kid. Is this guy in the viral video giving vibes yes. that his mom is a jealous mom? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. and, and it makes sense because the woman wrote, now I blame his mother for never letting him try salmon. So she, yeah. you could tell she knows. Uh, I heard a quote the other day about parenting that I thought was, uh, well, it was kind of hard to read, but it was also pretty eye-opening. It's the better job you do, the less they're going to need you when they're older. And I was like, that's kind of sad, right? Oh. But it does make a lot of sense.
Okay, like so your job is to get them ready for let life. them figure things out on their own. Yeah, let them figure it out. That's why I never give my kid food. No, never. No, or fend, bathe her. Fend for yourself, kid. She's, figure it out. She's the stinky, hungry kid at school, but but she's gonna grow to be a beautiful <laughs> swan. Of course, we're kidding. <laughs> International Day of the Superhero. Yeah, mm-hmm. happy Superhero Day. Who's your favorite superhero? No, no, that's not what we're asking. No, I know. I was just it's just a side thought. Well, I know, but now people are going to be like, mm, F- Spider-Man, when we actually have a different question. <laughs> okay, what's the actual question? If you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? I think I'd want my superpower to be to fix people's problems immediately, but only... If they're not whiny about their problems. Okay. I'd be very selective. And they wouldn't see it coming. They wouldn't know it's me. What if they didn't ask? Like, what if they're, you know, some people like to play the victim a little bit. And be like, oh, woe is me. Mm. If you fixed all their problems, what would they well, do? I would be able to see through the woe is me. I'm a superhero. Okay. That's a really, really weird pick. Why is that weird? Is because I care about my community? I think I actually know what you'd want. I think this is something you'd want more. And it is super speed so that you could just get out of, like, issues and plans you don't want really fast. You'd just be gone. Like a professional when it comes to smoke bombing. Doesn't Batman already do that? Isn't he, like, in and out? No problem. You like that, though? That that sounds like something you'd like. And I look great in leather. (laughs) How do you know that? True. I've never had the confidence to put a leather on. I saw that I was, one Ross Geller episode and I was like, not for me. I was pretty interested in that answer. <laughs> I'd probably uh, have like uh, a vision superpower where I could see through clothing. Ryder, that is the most perverted thing you've ever said. What? No, no, not for perversion reasons. For, for t- what reason? For tactical reasons. What is seeing through someone's clothes going to do for you? Well, then I'd know like targets if we ended up having to fight. I'd know exactly where to to strike in order to put them down. Left testicle shot, boom, direct. No clothes getting in the way of that. You want to look at a man's testicles? <laughs> Holy crap! We really should go back to my question. Who's your Who's your favorite superhero? That would be way more PG. I don't want to just look at men's. T- Ryder wants to look at men's testicles. No, Pass it on. That's not my Pass superpower. It on. Tell everyone. <laughs> I have a game for you real quick. As I got asked to tip yesterday in a Starbucks drive-thru. What kind of tip? Like, um, hey, man, you should probably trim your nose hairs. No, no. I, they didn't give me a tip. Oh. They asked me for a tip. And so I said, well, I wouldn't go with that hair color with your skin tone. <laughs> so this game is called Tip or No Tip because I didn't tip in the Starbucks drive-thru. In my opinion, Starbucks... Wait, you don't have to tip in a Starbucks drive-thru because you just tap your phone. No, no. Now you have to hit... At some locations, you have to hit if you want the tip or no tip before you tap. Get out. Yeah. It was the first time I'd seen it. Oh, <gasps> It's a new machine? Yeah. Oh, that's scary. F- frustrated me. Because, like, you're already charging me six bucks for a cup of coffee. That is astronomically too high for what I'm getting in return. Mind you, I justify it because it tastes great. So I get it. But, like, Convenient. Yeah. it actually probably cost them roughly 30 cents to make it. So the markup's there. I don't like to think about things like that. They're very busy. They have locations everywhere. Just pay your employees more. Yeah, celebrities shop there, so we know you can afford it. Why are you leaning in on me, who's already paying too much for a cup of coffee? I'm looking at Rihanna holding her iced macchiato exactly. on the streets of L.A., and she's probably tipping really good. Well, so that's she's, making up for all of us not tipping. She's maybe. a billionaire. Uh, so this this game is called Tip or No Tip. I'm going to throw you some places. I want to find out if you tip at them when the option's given. This will be really boring if you just say, yeah, for everyone, okay? <laughs> okay. So do you want me to lie if no, no. they are all yams? Local pub. Yes. Tip or No Tip, Subway. I'm a pushover. I you got a tip, tip at Subway? Well, if it's a good artist... Yeah, okay. I like to support local artists. You know when they grab an extra piece of cheese or an extra piece of meat by accident? If they keep that on there, Mm -hmm. I'd think about tipping. But usually they put it back. And if you say lots of pepper and they like go to town and you're like, you don't have to say it again. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I've always felt like if you get the owner of the subway, you're not getting a good sub. Oh, yeah, because they're budgeting. They're like, cucumber? Okay. And they put one little thin slice mm-hmm. of... They'll cut the cucumber slice in half, <laughs> put one half on each six inch. 
Okay, uh, so we've agreed that Subway, only if it's a great sub, we tip. If it's a great artist, we tip. Hairdresser. See, this one's tough for me. I don't know the answer. Do you know how expensive it is to get your hair dyed these mm. days? It's like $400, Ryder. Yeah, I, when and you then, told me that, I almost died. I know. I was so happy for this male pattern baldness when I found out how expensive haircuts are now. Dude, it's so bad. 400 plus, right? Well, I feel like I can't remember if that was the total with tip or before. I try not to think about it. I blocked out. So if you're going uh, tip on that, you'd probably just tip like for their time, not mm-hmm. for your cost. And my hair is very thick, so I'm there for like four hours, bro. You shouldn't be tipping on the price of like the chemical no, that they use. because that's absolutely jacked up. Right. So if they're charging 400 and you were to tip 20%, that's $80. Uh-uh. No, no, no. But maybe like 20 bucks? Do you tip? I don't know. I don't have to go to hairdressers. Well, so. I tip. Now, call me crazy, and I'd love to hear from listeners that tip. What are you doing? Because I'll think of it as like an hourly rate. My hair is a lot of work. Right. So putting foils in, like 200 foils in my hair, mm-hmm. their arms are tired. I'm so tip like, like four bucks an hour or something. Well, I was thinking more than that. Is that bad? If they're making, you know, 25 bucks an hour. Well, what if they're at a location where they rent the chair? They're not getting paid by the place that... That's true. That's new. That's a new thing. Mm -hmm. You rent your own chair. You're paying to be there. Right. So I think that's why they can justify charging you so much because, yeah, I don't know. It's tough. I think I might shave my head. Okay, next question. McDonald's, tip or no tip? What? They have a tip option at McDonald's? Uh, No, not necessarily. But if you're tipping at Subway, why wouldn't you tip at McDonald's? They don't deserve it? Well, it's not it's not as much of an art. Also, sometimes when I get my McFlurry, I'm like, where's the where are the Oreos? And then you find them all in like one They're in one little one corner. One eighth of the cup. Yeah, okay. Uh how about a buffet restaurant? Final question. Tip <laughs> or no tip? I don't go to buffets, should I? It's been a while. They're amazing. Well, who am I tipping? I, exactly. I mean, I do leave a tip at a buffet, but I don't know why. Sometimes I'll serve it myself. (laughs) Sometimes I'll walk past the person that's like going to town on the ribs. Mm -hmm. Like they've had seven racks, and I'll tip them because they're a hero. They're just going for it. 780 784 7107. Here's our quick question Where do you get really confused when it comes to tips? Well, when someone turns around and grabs something out of a fridge and hands it to you, and then they turn the machine around and there's a tip option, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. yeah, I saw a really funny tweet or meme maybe about this where they're like, as soon as you see that Apple machine, you're screwed. (laughs) There's always a tip option. And it's not even like 10% anymore. It's like we need 25% minimum and a vial of your blood. You have to be very (laughs) particular with this. You got to look because you got to hit custom. Because it always starts at 25. I'm like, what? Yeah. This is a joke. I always feel cheap going custom, <laughs> too. When they see that you're hitting a lot of numbers, <laughs> they don't know if either they're getting a $200 tip a or we're going to custom $1, <laughs> Bob. 90 cents. <laughs> Kids can get, like, oddly obsessed to things that don't really make sense to you. Like, I'm going to start it off by saying YouTube videos of other kids opening gifts. Yeah, and the kids that are opening those gifts are millionaires because millions of kids are Mm -hmm. watching them. Some of them. I'm sure there's some real failed YouTube channels out there, kids opening gifts, and maybe they don't open them good enough. But Oh, maybe. I've never understood. Or even watching kids play with toys. Like, why don't you just go play with toys? Right. But, okay. I mean, I really love watching other people unbox all of their makeup that they just bought. So I guess that makes sense. And I would never buy anything outside of like a, a drug store right right so i'm right. living vicariously through the things that other people buy well i guess you just explain that one there you go stump buster prime prime drinks mm, yeah uh, they're pretty tasty well and you know what i've no. noticed i've noticed that <laughs> oh. now when you walk into the gas station they have them lined up right when you walk in they're not in the fridge anymore yeah. they have them like on ice on display yeah they're yeah. no I, uh, I I took a Prime bottle, and I put Kool-Aid in it. And my son gave it to him and his buddies, like, best Prime drinks ever. So it's just the branding. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, they've done very good with the branding. Thanks for the call. We appreciate <laughs> it. That's best. definitely one for the list. Yeah. Uh, cheese pizza we can put on the list. Things kids are obsessed with, like, 
Why don't you like pepperoni? No, I I am with the kids on this one. You'd I'm, rather have a cheese pizza yes. than a pepperoni pizza? Yes. What? Are you six? I don't care. I like it. Is it just tastes like butter? Okay. It's the best. <laughs> Here's another one I need to add to the list that uh, I just realized yesterday, and it brought me back to my childhood when I was also obsessed with the same thing. I have a laundry chute in my house that goes from like the top floor to the main floor into the laundry room. Why? Our kids so obsessed with laundry shoots. Maybe because you don't really see them often, so you're fascinated by it, and yeah. you just want to get inside of it because to you, it reminds you of a, like a slide, a slide, a tube slide. But we had one in our house growing up as well in the '90s, and it's still in my parents' house to this day because yeah. they still live in that home. And it was in my bedroom in the closet, so everyone had to bring their laundry in and throw it down the laundry chute. And my dad would always say. Don't go near the laundry chute. Okay. Don't get in it. Yeah, it's like the well for farm kids. Less um, scary deaths. Well, probably, yeah, probably less death. But I'm sure, like, I remember hearing a story about a woman who accidentally fell in one in Saskatchewan. Really? Yeah, like five years ago or something that passed away. No. So I would imagine, like, a lot of kids get stuck in them. But, yeah, so anyway, my, my daughter had a buddy over yesterday, and I bet they spent, of the four hours that they were at my place, probably... Three and a half hours playing in the laundry chute. You let them go down the laundry chute? No, not down it. Oh. Uh, there was one on the top floor, one on the bottom, and they were, like, playing catch through it. Oh. It's not that far of a fall at my place. Like, it's not a two-story. It's just, like, maybe a six-feet fall. So they were, like, passing slime to each other through it. Oh, that and sounds fun. They'd go and switch who was at top. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't feel dangerous, so I let it go. This was, but you her, just couldn't believe how entertained they, they were. They were obsessed with it. That's funny. Yeah, and yeah. now I'm a little bit worried about my daughter because she hadn't paid much attention to it previously. She never put her laundry in there. Maybe this will kickstart that. But I'm afraid that this is going to be her new thing. Mm. Like she's the new laundry shoot kid. Well, now all the kids at school are going to want to come over yeah, and play in the laundry shoot. Laundry <laughs> shoot that sounds so dangerous. <laughs> Less than a month away until The Little Mermaid is out in theaters. They're slowly introducing all of the different characters as well, which I think is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. What a way to get fans excited about a movie. May 26th, right? May 26th. It's going to be in theaters, correct. Here's another way to get fans excited for the movie. Rider, rider, rider's recorder. Rider, rider has no actual skills. <sighs> I've been practicing this one for a while. that five starfish out of five. Oh, I'm glad you didn't say ten. <laughs> five simple words. One thousand dollars. It's Ryder and Lisa's 1K Wordplay. Brought to you by Cal Mustara, your real realtor with Maxwell Progressive. I'm hoping to give away a thousand dollars today. You're probably hoping that too, Frida. Yep. Hi. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is your first time through. You know how the game works, though. I do. Now, i just like to say, maybe think about sending Lisa out. I've been sitting on these words <laughs> that I have for, I think, eight or nine games in a row. I just keep getting sent out. Like, I know I'm great at this game. Yes, you are. I'm legend, a legendary gamester. But Except we haven't given away $1,000 Well, since that's just a you... small detail. Uh, <laughs> small detail. So, Frida, you're going to pick either Lisa or myself, who will go out of the room not be able to hear anything. We're going to give you five words. You tell us the first word that comes to mind for each. We'll invite your teammate back in, play the same game with them, and for everyone that matches, it's 25 bucks. Get them all, and it's a 1000 There is a 25-second timer that'll start after we give you the first word. Who are you rolling with today? Yep. I'm going to try Lisa. Yes! Bye! Feels good to stand up for what? <laughs> Okay, the timer starts as soon as I give you the first word. 
Frida, are you ready to go? I think so. Let's do this. The first word is dentist. What was it? Dentist. Cleanser. Baseball. Bat. Jazz. Dance. Pool. Water. Monopoly. Game. All right. I didn't hear the first word, though. Okay, dentist. Oh, dentist. Teeth. Perfect. Let's get Lisa back in here and go. Yeah, your your first answer didn't make sense at all, so that's how I know you're not lying. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to give away $1,000, so let's do this. She did very well. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. Lisa, what's the first word that comes to mind when I say dentist? Teeth. 25 bucks. What's the first word that comes to mind when I say pool? Water. 50 bones. What's the first word that comes to mind when I say baseball? Bat. 75 and two away from a thousand bucks, Frida. What's the first word that comes to mind when I say monopoly? Money. No! Good answer. She had the other good answer. There's only two, I think. Game. Game, yeah. I'm upset. I'm very upset, but we got to send her home with 100 bucks. Please, 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 please. What's please. the first word that comes to mind when I say jazz? Music. No, she went with dance. Oh, we were so yeah, yeah. close. Like, actually. That was your second answer there. It was. And your second answer for Monopoly was money. So. Oh, that's upsetting. Our game, sorry. Well, uh, great game, Frida. Thank you. You got 75 bucks coming your way. Oh, man. Fantastic. Next you know chance to play is tomorrow morning at 7.50. Nope. Tomorrow, Saturday. Monday morning at <laughs> 7.50. Okay, I have a way that you can save money at a restaurant. Let's Th- hear it. They're not going to love it, though. No. Like the restaurant, but I actually think it's fair. I think it's fair. Um, I've noticed that, like, adding on proteins is getting more and more expensive. Like, we're talking, it can get upwards of, like, eight fifty, nine fifty. No, it's not $9 to add, nine a, chi- dollars to yeah. add chicken. It depends where you go, but, like, I went to one place and I had already ate... <laughs> But I wanted to be part of the crew, so I ate again. And I just got a side salad with added chicken. It was $23. No, that was a including s- a beer. Side salad, add chicken. That's not including a drink? Correct. So my idea is bring your own proteins. Pack a little cooler. You're packing a cooler to a restaurant. Yep. And I'm going to take a quarter of a rotisserie chicken in with me. And then I'm going to order the side salad. Or something else, a vegetarian. The- and then you're going to pull out your little picnic basket. Yep. And I'm going to add my own protein. Listen, the restaurant's still making money because I'm ordering something off their menu and I'll probably have a beer. I'm saving some money in budgeting because it's not fair that you charge me $9 for a half a chicken breast. And we know you're not putting the full titty on there. Don't you- call it that. Well. That's disrespectful. It too, with the chicken, it's a reasonable thing to call it. Anyway, the ch- they're not putting a full chicken breast anymore. And they're charging it like it's it's three of them. Shout out to my restaurant peeps. I know that uh, it's a grind out there. And I'll still support you. I'll probably go out to restaurants more if I can pack my own protein. Why don't you just eat at home? Well, then I'm not supporting local. I'm not supporting restaurants. You so know? you're just a pack of Tupper wherever, we, yeah. wherever you go. Don't you think? Like, oh, here's a shrimp ring. I can peel off the tails and put this on my salad. Don't get me wrong. I do support getting your own shrimp ring. Like, I like to eat them when I go on road trips. You know how some people, they'll get, like, a Red Bull or, like, a bag of chips. I'm, like, I'm getting a ring for the road. What? Yeah, and I'll put the little tails in the middle console or even just in my coat pocket while I'm driving. Sometimes I forget about them. It's so embarrassing when I go, like, pull my keys out and all these tails fall out. What? (laughs) (laughs) It feels like you're telling the truth. I am. And I'm very confused. Well, and your um your mug holder is the perfect <laughs> size, size for chili. cocktail sauce. <laughs> Time for hate it or love it. 
This is where I'm going to throw some things at you, Lisa, that are shaken down. And you just tell me if you hate them or love them, okay? Okay. I'll sometimes chime in with my opinion as well. Well, and I would love for our listeners to also chime in, so feel free to text us. James Corden's Late Late Show has has ended after an eight-year run. You love it? I knew it was coming, yeah. Okay, but what if he goes back to England? I know you don't like him, so just for you. He goes back to England, and now he has so much free time, and he's like dives into every movie ever. Well, I know he's going to weasel his way into a couple Broadway shows sure. or live action films, so that is frustrating. Yeah, but you still love it. But I still love it. Okay. Apparently, Chris Pratt's character Star-Lord will drop the F-bomb in the new Guardians of the Galaxy the first time ever in a Marvel movie. Hate it or love it? Hate it. Why? Because can we give it to a cooler character? Okay. Like the raccoon. Hey, you don't like Chris Pratt either, hey? Oh my gosh, I sound like such a hater. I yeah. do love Bradley Cooper, though. What does that mean? He's the voice of the raccoon. Oh, okay. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> you like just Lisa, pick, are you drunk? Pick the one celebrity you like. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh, I would say I love it. I'm all for the F-bomb. The more we get it out there, the more we normalize it, the more chance I'll be able to say it on a day-to-day basis around here on the show. You know? Please don't. Start with a Marvel movie. Two, year, two and, years and from Ryan now, Lisa. two years from now, I'll be starting the show with it. All right, and finally, LA Kings are flying 10-year-old Oilers fan Cecily to enjoy Game Six after she was harassed and spit on by a losers Kings loser Kings fan uh, in an earlier game in the series. Love it that the Kings are doing this. That they're sending her to the game. I think I disagree again. What? I wish it was the Oilers that were sending her to the game. Oh yeah. Because the, I don't don't give me a reason to like the LA Kings right now. The organization's doing something very kind. They don't want to be associated with that loser fan who's since been fired from her job. I get it. That's all good stuff. Okay. But I don't want to like the Kings right now. That's a very valid point. But still, very excited. And they better be showing her on the screen. Yes. And I, ho- I hope they give her like a legit box and, and do this properly. She deserves it. And she should have never been harassed. Nope. No, no matter how you feel about sports. Don't harass children that are there enjoying the sport, no matter what. Maybe they'll present her with a check. I know she's raising money. Yes. That so, would be a no, slick move. Again, I don't want it. Until yes, maybe we do. after we eliminate them, then they can be nice again. Okay. Throwdown. We are doing Women and Songs Week, and we're on uh, album number three of the compilation of just massive hits. Yeah, and I had this one. I remember... The CD cover, okay. it has Cher on it and Jewel. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you get to pick a song, I get to pick a song, but we're trying something new here today. <laughs> Freestyle Friday, you don't get to play a clip of your song that you want, you have to perform it. You go first. Kiss me Oof. beneath the milky twilight, lead me onto the moonlit Lord, take my open hand and then that the sign of wave to round and sign your feather soon to me and kiss me. So you can either vote for a rider song or mine. If I can tell the world is one thing and we are all okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry, because worry is wasteful, useless in times like these. Nobody knows what song. Yeah, they do. These hands are my own, but they're not yours. They are my own. And I'm never broken. <laughs> <laughs> you sound broken. <laughs> 780-784-7107. This is day three in a row that I'm trying to get Jewel's song to win. Yeah. So mine is Jewel, Hands. Riders is Sixpence, None the Richer. Kiss me. <laughs> the Rider and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. Play 107.